Alrighty, ahoy mateys, this is W Drums here. We're back doing some more action figure and um, figure reviews. So, this one is a real special one. So, this just came in the mail from Amazon a few weeks ago. And it's Shanks, guys and gals. This is Shanks from One Piece, man. The Yonko. They made him as a figure. Mega House figurines. Look how sick this guy looks, man. Oh. Look at that official box. Like, ah, I haven't even boxed him yet because I was dying to make a video on this. This is one of those figures you just can't um, mess around with, man. You gotta take it seriously. Look at this. Look at that, he's gonna have the cape, they got the scar, the pants design, the sword, missing the arm. I mean, this is this is gonna be really exciting. Look at that. So, let's get right to, into unboxing this bad boy. There we go. Alrighty. Alright, cool, man. Let's see what this looks like. Wow. So first off, take a gander at this. The Shanks Pirate, the Red Hair Pirates um, Pirate logo. Look at that, man. That is beautiful. <laughs> it looks so sick. That's awesome. That came in the box, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. That's just a sweet looking background, man. All right, so we're gonna put that off to the side. There we go. So this is what it actually came as. So let's figure out how to do this. Probably a bunch of tape here, yep. Figured much? Not yeah, figured. The figure. Ah. That should do it. I think there's one more. Yep. Bottom. All right. Looks like one more at top too. There we are. There we are. All right, so there's the back. So now here's the good stuff, man. Oh, baby. All right, so it's all just gonna fall out. All right, it's just gonna shower out. You saw that, so. There's a little baggy here protecting it, so. I love to keep my action figures um, very neat when they're boxes, so. With their boxes, sorry. I think that looks sweet. All right, so let's get the good, the good stuff. So this dropped. So I guess this is like the Japanese like little symbols they show in the manga. So I'm not sure what to do with that quite yet. We'll figure that out in a second. Wow. All right, so here we go, man. Moment of truth. Sweet. All right, so first off, here's this cape. Look at this crazy thing. So remember how he's missing his left arm, so the other half is going to be completely open, the other one there's no point kind of thing. And I like the way they did this cape design, man. Look at this. Really cool. They captured the colors beautifully too. I love the ruffle design, man. I can't imagine if they make like an Admiral Marine from uh, one piece like uh, Kizaru or something, and they do their little uh, cloaks. Oh, God, I'll lose my mind. Like I'll buy them all, definitely. And I love his little uh, neck thing he's got going on with the cape, so that's beautiful. Oh, man, here's the figure himself. Look at that. Wow. How sick that is. Oh, man, he bends really nice, too. I'm impressed. Got a lot of joint movement. Very impressed so far. There's his feet with the sandals. He's got some hairy legs, man. Look at all that hair. Jeez. You can't see any of my leg hair. And it's there. I, I, I assure you it is. Look at that, man. They did a beautiful job. Articulation's great so far. They got the missing left arm. Poor guy. 
<laughs> Don't worry, W Drums, I'm fine. Yeah, I know you are. You're a Yonko, dude. You're the man. Um, wow, so let's take a gander at his design up close. Look at the face. That looks sick. Look at the scar that we got there. Look how sick that looks, man. Kind of hidden by the hair a little bit, but... I mean, that's some beautiful detail. Great uh, muscular design in there. I love the facial hair they put on them. The hair is definitely red, fits the bill perfectly. Look at that. Nice shading design in the, um, the fabric. Really cool how they did that. Okay, so the chest moves quite a bit. Oh, I love it, man. The articulation's great. Very loose, very carefree. I'm digging it so far. Enjoy my purchase. All right. So let's see here. So next, he's got a couple of different faces. All right, so he's got his angry face. He's like, hey, don't you touch Luffy, my buddy. Look at that. You can really see the scar detail in that. I like that, man. It's the one thing I love about these Japanese action figures is the fact that you can literally just take off their faces and put on a new one. And it's just, it's so effortless and it's really fun. And they've got his happy face. It's okay, Luffy. I just lost my left arm. I'm bleeding a lot. No biggie, buddy. I still love you. Why'd you eat the fruit, you idiot? That's what he was thinking, really. Um, and here is his very um, stern, badass face. He's just like, yo. This Marine War? Nah, nah, we ain't doing this, you know what I mean? That's what he said when he was at Marine Ford. Spoiler alert. <laughs> I'm digging it. And then they gave me a couple of hands. If somebody could give me a hand, that'd be great. I'm all by myself here. <laughs> uh, so we've got his, like, reaching out for you kind of hand. We've got his fist hand. I imagine that's going to hold his sword. And then we've got another hand. That's just more kind of open. And then, oh man, here is his actual sword. Look at this beauty, man. I don't think it has a name yet. As far as I know in the manga, they have never released a name for it. But we know Shanks and Mihawk went at it, man. Like, Mihawk is a little bummed that he lost his arm because he used to see him as a rival. Now he doesn't think it's fair to battle him. So, but look at that, man, that's gorgeous. Nice design. It just feels really lightweight. The sword is beautifully crafted. It's got that nice um, blade to it. Even though it's plastic, I mean, it just feels great. And then here's the little holster for the sword. So let's see if it goes in. I'm hoping it does. I don't know how they do this, actually. Oh! Figured it out. So this is kind of cool. So. You take this off right here, boop, and you see that there's a little sliver there. What you're going to do is I bet you have to slide the blade in as such, and it should work. We just gotta figure out how to get this bad boy in without breaking anything. Or maybe I'm wrong, hold on a second. They don't give you instructions with how to do it, so I'm curious. So here's his little holster here, you can see clearly that this goes in, see I can hear, you put it through here I believe, but the question is, oh I figured it out guys, I figured it out, okay, this makes sense, god I wish they gave me instructions, okay, so you take off the sword holster like this, boom, I didn't break it, I promise you, don't freak out. Now, you see this right here, the little uh, thing there that's gonna go for the with the hilt? We're gonna pop that on there, and look at that! There it is, man! Now it's hoisted in his, uh, his little rag thing that uh, Zoro wears. I think it's called a sash. Forgive me, I'm not Japanese. Look at that. Oh, that's sick! It, it goes in there really nicely, too. I'm impressed. Really like that. Awesome! Look at that, and then here's his fist. He's giving me a pound. Look at this, he's going for, for the camera. Boop, look at that. He's like, you did it, W Drums. You figured it out by yourself. Thanks, Shanks. Look at that, man. He, he's nice, I just, ah. I'm so excited, like this is, this is a really good purchase. A little pricey, but I mean, you get what you pay for, really. Like this is, 
quality stuff. Like, you're not going to find this in a Toys R Us. Oops, spoke too soon. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, overall, it looks pretty sweet. Legs go great. Articulation's wonderful. Sword goes in that holster. They need some instructions, so I'm not so carelessly lost next time on camera, but overall, bravo, Mega House. And then, let's see here. Let's try to switch his hands up now. Well, actually, first, let's see him with the cloak. I'm curious what he looks like with it on. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that, man. That is beautiful. How sick that looks. He's like, yo, what's up? That is really cool, man. Now, let's see how much he measures now that we took him out of the box. I am curious myself. He is eight inches exactly. So in centimeters, that would be about 20, 21 centimeters of what my ruler is showing me. I'm not the best mathematician, so chill out for all you math junkies out there. There he is, man. Look at that. That is sick. I'm going to change his face real quick because that's one of the greatest things about these toys I was explaining earlier. It's just a lot of fun. Brings that little silly child element out of the toy. So look at that. So we're going to pop his head off. I think is how you do it, right? Oh, no. I guess you can't pop it off. Maybe you just pop off the hair this time. Oh, there we go. Look at that, how creepy is that? Oh, Luffy, my face! My face! Ah! That's what the sea monster really should have done, is just ripped his face off. That would have sucked. So then, we're just gonna pop this bad boy on here. Look at that. He's like, hey! Leave Luffy alone or I'll come over the- oh, Why I ought to get, get the sword ready, Shanks. So, we'll take off his hand. I think it's kind of funny because we can't- we don't have any left hands because he lost his arm, so it's kind of ironic because he couldn't do anything with it if he wanted to, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm being nasty now, but I think it's pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, so here we go, and let's take off the sword, take it out of the holster. See, what they do, that's, that's funny, so it tricks you, so let me get the hilt back on. Got it. Put this on. See how difficult they make this to put in. All right, wow, cool. So he holds the sword a little better than I imagined. Look at that, man. Ah, oh, that's sick. Hiya! Now, the one thing that's crazy about Shanks, and this is a spoiler for anybody that's not caught up in the manga, is that we don't know what he's capable of still. Like, he was seen with the Gorosei, and we're all, including myself, are just freaking out. Like, how powerful is Shanks? Nobody knows what this dude's capable of. But he was able to stop Kaido in his tracks at the Marine Ford War, I'm sorry, before the war. And it's just, what is this dude capable of, man? I mean, the figure alone is just beautiful, though. Look how sick that looks, man. Look at that. Oh, I'm really happy with this purchase, as you can tell, hence my oh constantly. But look at that. Really sick looking figurine. I love the cape, man. They just, it's brilliant the way they did it. It has that one piece essence that I love that Oda draws on all of his um, characters with the capes and the cloaks and stuff. It's one of his brands that I just love about his art style. So that's really cool, man. Put them back up like that. So yeah, I mean, I think that's really it overall. Oh, I almost forgot, folks. We have to uh, also, just real quick, unbox his little speech bubble thing. I don't know what it is. Okay, so it gave us this. I don't understand fully what you're supposed to do with this. What I'm assuming is that this grips onto the verbiage like that. So this is a sticker. Question is, where does that go to? Maybe it's like this?
I don't know. Leave in the comments down below what your thoughts are because there's like this little peg thing. I'm assuming maybe that goes in his... No, it doesn't even go in his hilt. Like, what the... I don't understand. And it gives me a sticker. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? <laughs> Leave in the comments down below what your thoughts are because I am truly lost. I apologize. I can't read Japanese either. This is my uh, toy unboxing and review for Shanks, one of the Yonko. Stay tuned for more of this content in the future because I've got another Yonko on my way. So if you enjoyed the content, I have a Patreon account. I'll leave the link down below in the description. If you'd like to donate and become a member for my efforts and see some more craziness. Thank you so much for watching. God bless and have yourselves a wonderful rest of your days, folks. And support Oda because One Piece is amazing. Peace!